When it comes to dirty engine blocks, it seems like diesels are the worst offender. And today I'm going to try to do some electrolysis rust and the oil grease removal with this Duramax diesel engine block. Um, I haven't tried this before. I'm going to kind of show you what this block looks like. Oops, it's loud. Looks like before we start, and then I'm going to show you kind of the rig I have set up, and then just do a simple before and after, show you if it works or if it doesn't or whatever the heck. But uh, if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, without further blab, let's dig into it. So our subject today is a 2003 LB7 Duramax engine block. This is going in my 68 Nova, and I just I can't start with a dirty block. So I'm going to be painting this thing orange, make it look like I have an old school uh, big block engine, but uh, you can get an idea that this thing is just grimy, old. Um, I pressure washed it before when it was all together, and you can just see like just layers of dirt and some kind of crust here and there. So you want to have as good a, a surface to start with to begin as you can. Um, so I hope it'll remove this. I've seen some where they show that kind of removes some of the old paint. So I hope I can get all this off. The other option was like taken to a block shop that kind of, they do have, they have a tumbler blaster kind of thing. But uh, I've seen other people that it doesn't really clean the inside super well, but this just has oil and stuff residue inside it. But here's our baseline. So you get an idea, you know, oil grease. Let's uh, hopefully it's a drastic change when I pull it out. So this was version one of the uh, electrolysis kind of rig. I have a some baling twine wrapped around this barrel and it's a plastic barrel. And then you put your metal piece inside, make sure it doesn't touch the metal uh, around it. And uh, then you put a negative to the piece that you want to clean and a positive to the wire. But uh, I did some reading online. Some people use a metal drum and then you just put some wood on the bottom to keep your metal piece from touching it. So I'm going to do a metal drum instead, which is just outside here. But uh, just as an example for maybe you have an old rain barrel, um, this is another option for you. This is the drum I'll be using. I cut some blocks of wood for the bottom to keep the engine block hoisted up. So it's going to put the positive to the barrel, negative to the block, fills up full of water. And uh, I think I have to get some uh, solution for it as well, too. I've seen somebody used uh, Arm & Hammer um, washing soda, not baking soda. So I'm going to pick some of that up and see what it does. So after a quick run out of town, I picked up some Arm & Hammer So Clean Super Washing Soda. This is just sodium carbonate. And I got this because an article on successful farming online that I found where it goes on about a tractor restorer in Virginia tells about kind of the whole electricity operation. Um, I'll link that in the description if you kind of want to read more and kind of get a little bit uh, second opinion on the whole process. But uh, he recommended one third of a cup per five gallons so as i fill up the one outside here uh, i'm gonna kind of have to work out it's not really going to be a full 55 gallon drum so i'd probably do like whatever 45 gallons would be with that um i believe this acts as, acts as like a medium so the water is uh conductive and uh, there's some science behind it but you can read the article if you want to find out some more Okay, we've got the engine block lifted up and everything should be ready. I'm gonna open my garage door and we're gonna put this inside the barrel outside. Uh, we're doing it outside because the byproduct of the electrolysis process is it makes hydrogen gas. And if you do this in your garage overnight, come in, put the light on, kaboom, you'll blow your roof off. So I'm just playing it safe, doing it outside and uh, yeah, follow up. Okay, doing a little quick look around here. I want to make sure nothing on the engine block is touching the metal barrel. Um, or if you're doing this in a plastic tote, then uh, make sure nothing's touching it. So everything looks good. It's uh, only five o'clock right now, but you, don't you love winter with the short days? So I'm gonna get my hose, fill this up, and then start adding my solution.
this is gonna take a while. Okay, the block is fully submerged and I'm ready to add the washing soda. Going off the ratio told in the article, it's one third per every five gallons. I'm gonna assume I got, let's say 40 gallons in here. So I'll go with 13 cups. So I've got a typical measuring cup, probably stolen from the house if you have the same one. And uh, this is two cups, so I gotta do uh, a bit of six, six of these. Six and then a half. Oh, if it'll pour. Well, that's all I got. Should be good enough. Maybe it ends up working out great. Okay, um, I, I should have done this before, but my lifting hook is right here. And that's a positive. Oh, wait, no, other way around. Negative to here. There we go. Positive to the barrel. Um, if you do it the other way around, you're going to plate your block with whatever sacrificial metal it is. But if you do negative to positive, then uh, you're good to go. So I've got my battery charger right here. Fortunately, it only goes to 12 volt, 40 amp at the lowest. And everyone recommends 2 to 10 amps. So sometimes... Oh, it's not even plugged in. Hold on a sec here. Okay, uh, back up with the uh, plugged in charger now. So... This charm is kind of weird. Let's turn to that. So the needle really only moves like it's doing 2 amps. Um, so even though it's set to 12 volt 40 amp, I think it's doing a lot less. Um, so, uh, yeah, I can put it to higher. It doesn't really change anything. And I'll uh, come back and take a look at it in a little bit here. See what it does. It's going to be... I'm going to be leaving this thing for quite a while because I want to do... Uh, have this block looking brand new just watching this do its thing here you can see uh something's happening i increased the voltage to 24 volts because my charger has that ability i was reading an article that says that 24 volts will clean better because you'll have uh more current um i had to read the article again here i'll make some notes in the video but it's also good to have a battery charger that has a amp reading and it was saying that at the start as you have like fresh solution and the part isn't cleaned it's going to be around the one to six amp kind of range which is exactly where i'm at and as it gets more corroded like uh more rust in the solution the amperage is going to go up and that's where you want to turn it down so i'm going to leave this for about an hour going to see how it does and then uh, possibly turn it down a little bit for uh, overnight use so i moved it so the ground clamp is actually on the engine block instead of the little lifting eye and got a lot more bubbles out of it and it's pulling a lot more amps so i'm going to have to uh Get a different battery charger because even down on the 24 volt or the 12 volt setting it's doing too many amps so yeah make sure you kind of experiment with stuff like that now i think it's actually cleaning the block okay we're sitting at about i'd say like 16 to 20 hours uh this other charger i picked up off my buddy brad ward it does 12 volt 2 amp but reading the voltage and amp meter it's doing like six volts and like 45 amps so I don't know if it's just kind of how the charger works or whatever. Maybe it's a uh, side effect of having the steer barrel as it's really conductive. So anyways, um, see quite the film over top. That must be, I think, maybe rust possibly. Or, but uh, quite the oily film. I'm going to get a rag here and kind of skim it off. Okay, just got some paper towel and... In the, the top layer. I think I'll pull it out, just kind of see how it looks, and if it's not where I'd, I'm happy with, I'll uh, put it back in. need longer yet but I'll give it a quick pressure wash so here's the engine after a pressure wash and then kind of blowing it all off this whole valley used to be kind of coated in rust and it took off pretty much everything there there's still some paint flicks left 
I'm sure if I put it in a second time and ran it, you know, maybe another couple days and get it all off. Um, anything over here, the frost plugs look brand new. They were kind of gross before. Um, no rust that I can see and uh, all the machine surfaces still look really nice. All the insides and bores, it's all nice and clean. No uh, oil or any residue like that left. So I'm going to take a needle scaler to it and get this last little bit of paint off. But uh, sure, a, a hot tank could maybe get the last bit here. Or, well, I guess the purpose of doing this is because you don't want to send it in to get a hot tank. You're kind of doing it at home. But um, overall, pretty hot. Ha Oop, jeez. Scary stuff. <laughs> overall, pretty good. Uh, I think I'll do it again in the future, but um, I'll maybe pick up a battery charger that can do 24 volts at a lower amperage. Now this isn't necessarily part of the electrolysis operation, but I took a needle scaler to the engine block and this is how it's sitting uh, after the descaling. It's all masked up here. I'm going to be shooting some paint on it. I think I'll cover that in a separate video though. And it actually kind of looks worse because it's got a little bit of flash rust on it from sitting, but uh, this is the kind of end result versus what I started with. It's all max, uh, masked up. A little sick here. Uh, apologies. And... Uh, to see but uh, I guess everything that's kind of it's a little bit of flash rust would have been bare metal from the electrolysis operation there um, overall pretty happy I think I would have liked to do this a lot longer of a dip it was a little concerned about power usage and uh, I think had I dipped it again after washing it all off and doing this would have gotten a really nice result I would have liked to see it all that nice new gr cast gray kind of look to it well that's it for the video but before you click off please drop a comment or a like or even subscribe to the channel if you have any similar experiences with electrolysis uh engine block cleaning or what do you think of the process that i did with this has anything you would have changed or any tips from seasoned veterans who have done this before i do think that a little bit more time especially as watching washing the block so it was cleaner to begin with i think would work a lot better in this application but uh, i think for what i'm doing with this thing and covering a coat of paint it's going to look, look pretty good um, make sure to stay tuned to the channel for the video covering painting this engine block. It's going to look pretty cool. And uh, also watch out for a couple of videos following this one as I'm sick right now and I'm trying to stay productive as possible. So I'm doing some video editing. <laughs> uh, anyways, without further blabbing, I uh, appreciate your time and I hope to see you in another video. Thanks.